The College of Science, Technology and Applied Arts of Trinidad and Tobago, COSTAT, hosted a lecture at the Government Campus Plaza recently. This in an attempt to provoke discussion and practices to achieve resilience and the sustainable development goals. D.K. Rostan tells us more about this initiative. The underpinning human attribute needed to sustain the world ahead is resilience, which is the bedrock for innovative thinking. With this stated aim, COSTAT President Dr. Keith Nurse gave opening remarks for the inaugural Resilience and Innovation Public Lecture Series. The event featured a panel discussion where senior protection advocate at the Living Waters community, Svetlana Liansky, recounted some of her experiences since migrating to Trinidad and Tobago. I was brought here with a promise of work that will help my feed, to help my feed my family, but uh, I was being exploited. I was made um, to work long hours for a real pay that was about 20 hours per day. Place to live in a house with 10 people that I didn't know at that time. I have to pay the most expensive journey of my life, from which I managed to get out after eight months of being here. A story like many other that begin with a little uh, bitter taste, but over time this taste began to change and improve. Feature speaker Dr. Bitilde Munoz Pogosion in her address titled Rights Based Policy Response to International Migration, a look at Venezuelan migration in the region, outlined five principles that could better help guide policymakers address migrant populations towards more positive results. These include the, the, rights of, the, the principle of non-discrimination, the principle of care and protection from harm, a gender-based approach, the principle of intersectionality or multiple discrimination, and a last and fifth one specific to the best interests of the child. Costat's Department of Criminal Justice, Human Security and Legal Studies hosted the event in collaboration with the OAS. D.K. Rostar, TTT News.